Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and for today we will be featuring Graptopetalum Super Bomb and itong succulent na to is characterized as having this lavender na leaf color so very thick yung kanyang leaves na almost flat siya and at the same time yung kanyang leaves is also covered by this whitish powdery coating na tinatawag na nating farina. Itong succulent na to is also a uh, trailing na succulent kaya it's really best to put it in a hanging planter so for its light requirements it's best to put it in an area kung saan makaka-receive nga siya ng sufficient sunlight kasi it's really best to look at the succulent pag compact siya like what we are seeing right now so when i say compact dapat ganito yung kanyang Reset, dikit-dikit yung kanyang leaves kasi if it's not gonna be receiving enough sunlight, magiging leggy siya or maghihiwa-hiwalay nga yung kanyang leaves. And syempre, if it's not receiving enough sunlight, hindi siya magiging ganito ka-colorful. So, we cannot really see and appreciate yung pagka-purplish na lavender ng kanyang color. For its watering, it's also very basic na we only need to water it pag nag-completely dry na nga yung kanyang potting mix. And if, for example, walang ulan, what I usually do is manually water it. Ayan. So, if there's no any rainwater, you can use yung plain tap water if you wanted it to. So, if fast draining yung inyong potting mix, isang dilig lang is not enough. We have to repeat it about three times kasi talagang we wanted to make sure na hanggang sa pinakaloob ng kanyang soil will be wet. Yung ginamit pala nating potting mix sa kanya is the Alnus Compose with pumice stones and during its growing season I do actually apply a quick release liquid fertilizer. For its propagation hindi rin kayo mahihirapan kasi this succulent is known to produce its own offset. So, itong nag-trail na ito is the mother plant and yung dalawa sa pinakalikod are actually the offsets already and in time magkakaroon ulit siya ng offsets somewhere there. Kaya, hindi kayo mahirapan na padamihin itong succulent na ito. But in any case, you wanted to leaf propagate it. Sobrang dali lang din tanggalin nung leaf sa kanyang stem. Finally, for its grooming and maintenance, all we need to do is try to remove yung mga dried and old leaves from time to time so we won't be attracting any pest and fungus dito nga sa ating super bomb. And aside from that one, we need to check for pest nga. I do apply a systemic insecticide. Regularly ko siyang ina-apply every 2 to 3 months and syempre, we have to check for fungus sa kanyang leaves. So, itong super bomb na pansin ko sa kanya na very prone siya sa powdery mildew. And so, if for example, isang leaf lang naman or dalawang leaf lang yung infected, we can just simply remove that leaf para hindi na siya kumalat pa sa iba nating mga leaves and succulents around this one. So, this one is what a powdery mildew looks like. Ayan. So, that's actually a fungus. And pag, for example, malala na talaga yung 
fungus dito nga sa ating succulent, we really need to apply a systemic fungicide na or sometimes naglalagay rin ako ng contact na fungicide, yun nga yung Turogi Blue. So, ayan, it's something na pinakaayo ko sa aking mga succulents kasi ang bilis niyang kumalat. Kaya as much as possible, we have to treat right away yung ating succulent pag may fungus na sila. So, I guess that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page, A Desert Succulent PH.